Hello everyone, Phoenix Feather here, and we're back right where we left off in Game of Thrones, Iron from Ice. So, uh, let's get this started. I love this game so far. Alright guys, I didn't think I could show the intro because it's got the theme song in it. I didn't want to get a copyright hit on my channel, so just cut that out. Be safe. Forrester lands the king of food. Dooby 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 doop. It's a pig. I shall name you Char Wait, Charlotte wasn't the name of the pig, was it? That was the spider. Whoops. I should call you babe. Uh, this can't be Don't. good. Crash. Crash. I know my blood. Uh oh, dead pig. Is that where the blood came from? That's not good. Is there a sprint button? Oh, spacebar pauses it so I don't have to escape all the time. I learn something new every day. That's father's car. Uh oh. They don't kill his family. Or kill his dad at least. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Who doesn't want bacon? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off. My land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. You'll have it. You down. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. We got a pitchfork. And we got an axe. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that's a big headache. Follow these Please. orders. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. Who cares? That much I promise. <laughs> Father? 
got it. And you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. Oh, man. I tried to stop them. Oh, sorry, guys. Hmm. I'll kill the men who did this. Iron Wrath, stronghold of the Forester. Well, House Forester. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. Nope. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. <sighs> Sorry again. <laughs> Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. And they attacked good. me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? No. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Can't watch this. Can't watch this. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, he's putting maggots in it. These are dark days, I fear. <sighs> to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. <laughs> right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Ugh. Hold this for me, will you? <sighs> I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. The Ironwood Grove. Is 
That's it. <laughs> oh, that's only where I found that. But let me walk behind there so I can see if I can walk around here on this side. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. <coughs> Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. You can learn more about the Foresters on the mm -hmm. mini codex page. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. We'll take those bandages. Don't look at it like it's used toilet paper, man. This might help. Cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <clears throat> Keep moving. I need to see you walk. seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Ooh. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. 
Your family! I share your outrage, Sir Royler. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Yeah, the hell with him. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Don't We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. True. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. True. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid yeah, it's a I'd risk like to see him try. take. Which is why you cannot stay. Screw Ramsay Snow. Cannot stay. Stay. Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House The wall. The wall. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. <laughs> I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll go. I'll do what's best for the Hang house. out with John Snow. So yep. I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it. Settles it then. Settles it. Settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hills' heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now. I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Hmm. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. What the heck you talking about, kid? Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, it's if ever. only you. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon... I may need your help. What? I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Uh, 
cool? Do I have to go through like a training process to become a member of the uh, Night's Watch? I am from ice. I am from, from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Oh. Kodak moment. Hey right, guys, so I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of... Uh-oh, wait. wait. Oh, it didn't have those. Be safe. All right, so uh, that's it, this guys. If you guys, or that's it for this episode, guys. If you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more, make sure you. Bye bye.